Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'll see the ener energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. So this person is saying that they pray for your forgiveness and hope you will return back to them. I wanna show you, I can be the person you can count on. So this person is hoping that you'll return to them because this person wants your forgiveness. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you forgave this person in your heart. Okay? I feel like you have, Sussie. I feel like you forgave this person in your heart. But this person feels like because you're not moving forward to them in a 3D that you haven't forgave them. This person feels like in order for you to forgive them, you will return back to them. <laughs> like, okay, really? Why would my son see returning back to you? Somebody could be you, so you always fixing things. Always bringing you guys back together. Maybe you was always the first one to reach out, you know, um, communicate, talk, get things back on track. But I don't feel like you're doing that. I feel like somebody forgave someone in their heart. But because this person doesn't see it in a 3D because you haven't returned back, they feel like you haven't forgave them. This is somebody who wants you to depend on them. They want to show you that you can count on them. I feel like this person wants to give you like a, um, and this could be just a fantasize of how they want to give you a solid foundation. So I see this is somebody who wants marriage, a house, a home with you. Um, for a lot of you guys, you could be building a home together, buying a home together. For others of you guys, this person just want to live with you, move in with you. But this person is in despair. Somebody didn't see something coming. Somebody could feel like they ran out of ran out of time. This person is learning some lessons, and I feel like the lesson is your boundaries. You're guarded towards this energy. I still cannot believe that out of everyone, you want me. I was not ready for this type of connection. Yeah, this person is saying I still cannot believe that out of everyone, you want me. I was not ready for this type of connection. This person is giving me like insecure vibes. They can't even believe that you want them. Obviously, whoever this person is, think highly, very highly of you. Okay? Very highly of you. And I feel like with this, still can't believe that you want me out of everyone. This was somebody that was, you know, always, you know, being the one to be the first one to fix things. This person wasn't ready for this type of connection. That's why this person, I'm getting like a runner. This person kept running. I feel like something changed within you, sound sun seeds. And I feel like it's definitely your boundaries that you have set it. Or you just being guarded towards this energy. You're not emotionally available to whoever this person is that plays a lot of games and trickery. Give me more Holy Spirit. This person feels like they're the one for you. They feel like there's nobody else for you but them. I am being divinely guided towards you. We were made for one another, and I and now I believe it. What did I say? Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person feels like, uh-uh, ain't nobody out there, ain't nobody out there better for you than me. Only it's only me for you. That's it. Don't go out there exploring your options. Don't go out there looking no elsewhere. I am the one for you. I am coming. It says I am being divinely guided towards you. We were made for one another, and now I believe it. This person wants to give you everything that you need, everything that you desire. Mm. Give me more of the spirit. I'm here. This person wants to give it to you all. I read your messages, but I'm unsure how to respond, so I just stay quiet. Yeah, that could be. So a lot of you guys, you could have tried to admit things with this person. You could have tried to reach out to this person and get back on good terms with this person. This person just ignored you or ghosted you. Um, and somebody is just like, I'm fed up. That could be the reason why you got it with this person. You're not reaching out anymore because when you did reach out, this person didn't respond back. This person didn't know how to respond back to you. So somebody feels guilty. Somebody feels guilty of what they have done. This person know that they was inconsistent. They lied. They hurt you. 
I heard portrayed. Give me one Holy Spirit. I think you're picking this one. Give it back to me. Thank you. This person is saying y'all sexual imagery is um, off the hook when we are in, okay. So this person is fantasizing about uh, the passion that you guys have shared. Give me more Holy Spirit. I am transforming, but I need to do this alone and find out who I really am. I want to be the best version of myself to you. So this person is definitely working on themselves, transforming, going through some things. Um, I feel like this person knows that they can't do this with the, um, oh, well, thank you, Spirit. This person knows that they can't do this without you. But this is something that I feel like this person is being forced to do it without you because you guys are no longer giving into this connection right now. Okay, you allowing this person to go through whatever changes, adversity by themselves. Because when you was reaching out, when you was trying to be there, it was just like somebody kept neglecting you, making you feel like you were a problem. This person could get, is very stubborn. They, you know, this is somebody who wasn't open to your help. So now this person is going through this, trans, this transformation and they say they got to do it alone. But I feel like this person is being forced to do it alone. Because I feel like spirit is guarding you guys and protecting you guys at this time. Because when you was willing to give your help, when you was willing to be there for this person, this person just kept shutting you out. This person is really into you. I keep getting a two of cups. Like, they only have eyes for you. Give me more Holy Spirit. We are merging and aligning as one. Our energies are elevating to the highest form of all love. Is definitely a divine counterpart connection. Both of you guys are going through transformations privately, by yourself, in solitude. But I feel like a lot of you guys, Sun Seeds, you have elevated. You have elevated. Somebody has awakened to this love. With all of this green and this blue, this person is awakening to this love. They want to communicate with you. It's something about your self-love, too. Your self-love is like... It's a communication without even saying anything. Somebody feels like, I gotta come correct or not come at all to Mystic Sunflower Collective Sun Seeds. Because your self-love, your self -love, it just like, it's so... It stands out. I'm hearing like heavy, big, 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 heavy, big divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy. And it's just your silence alone. You don't have to say nothing. Your self-love is just out here speaking volumes without you saying anything. And it has awakened this person's heart chakra. This person wants to communicate with you, but they unsure of it because they know how when you was reaching out to them or when you was open to this connection, they was re they kept rejecting it. Somebody was very stubborn. And now you just decided to focus on you, loving on yourself, self-love, self-care. This person is awakening. Somebody can't explain it. They probably can have a hard time explaining it to people around them. But they know that they into you. They know that they love you. But what they don't know is that the people around them already know. They already know that they're in love with you. They already know that this love has done something to this person. They know that. Whether this person aware of it or not, people around them already know that. When you least expect it, I will come back to you. Everyone will witness. I oh my God! Yo, Sussy, before I looked down and read this card, I will just channel it just right now. It says, when you least expect it, I will come back to you. Everyone will witness our love in the 3D. Look at this. I'm telling you, witness, everybody gonna witness your love in the 3D. Everybody gonna be like, okay. I knew, I knew you was in love with Mystic Sunflower Collective Sunsies. I already knew. You was out here, the only one out here lying to yourself. Everyone that surrounded us knew it. We knew you was being stubborn. We knew it. We knew you were trying to avoid it. We knew, we could see the change. There's too many butterflies out here. We could see the transformation in you. We could see you ain't never been the same since you tapped into this kind of love. That's why they wasn't ready for this type of connection because this was something they never experienced before. 
They ain't fooling nobody. Damn sure not the people in the 3D, because everybody around them know. Mm. Now the only thing that matters to this person is, is, is about, you know, um, getting you back. Look, I believe we were meant to be together. I believe we are meant to build an empire together, hand in hand. I can't make it up. They know. Somebody's awakened to this connection, what it is. I believe we are meant to build an empire together, hand in hand. This person knows that you guys are supposed to be working closely together. I keep getting like a ten of pentacles, marriage, generational wealth, kids, grandkids, legacy. Legacy. For some of you guys, um, you guys are meant to, you know, um, move away. You know, separate yourself from whoever you guys was around. Move away. Start all over. But somebody's in despair about that. For some of you guys, this person could have bought you gifts. I'm hearing that you don't care about the gifts. This person could have tried to blind you with gifts, material things, to show you that they care. Like the finer things in life, take it how it resonates. That's not going to be for all you guys. But I'm hearing you guys didn't care about that. You wanted them to show you with their actions how they, how they truly felt. This person, thank you, Spirit. This person couldn't buy your love. This person is used to buying people love. They couldn't buy your love. They couldn't. You believed in me when no one else did. You showed me compassion that I couldn't show myself. And for that, I am grateful. I don't know why that makes me emotional just now. Somebody could be crying. What did I say? First card out. I pray for your forgiveness and hope you will return back to me. I already said you already forgave this person in your heart. That's how you're able to move on and, 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 if, and put that focus and love on yourself with this self-love. You already forgave this person. But because you haven't returned back in a 3D, they feel like you haven't forgave them. Feel like you've been had compassion towards the situation. You just decided to focus on you. You believed in this person when no one else did. You change this person. You, this person did things when they was around, and, uh, you know, around your energy that they never did when they was by themselves or with someone else. And everyone around them see them go through this transformation. They see this person actually act like a fool and act like you wasn't the one who had an impact on them. They watched this. They could have been the only one asleep, but people around them wasn't asleep when it came to this connection. It could have been a lot of eyes on this connection. But you show this person compassion that they couldn't even show themselves. They couldn't even, and that's why they couldn't show you because they couldn't, they, 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 they couldn't, they couldn't even show it to themselves. And they're grateful for that. That's how you're able to pour that self-love into yourself because you show nothing but compassion. You're loving. Hmm. There's no one that can compete when it comes to the type of love that you guys share. There's no, com there's no competition. It's like no one compete. I'm picking up. One more Holy Spirit. No one. I heard no one. No one. So somebody said no one. No one. What's this? You have my heart and make me feel whole. You are my one and only true love. I can't make it up. The cards are just actually just repeating everything that I'm channeling in my spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are my heart and you make me feel whole. You are my one and only true love. There's nobody that compare. There, there's no competition. Nobody, like, it's, it's nothing. Nobody amounts to you, Sunseed. Nobody. What you have done to this person, it's like, it's remarkable. But only a divine being could come in someone's life and do this. Put this type of glow on a person. Put these type of footprints on a person. Leave a footprint on a person. Only a divine being can do that. You would never forget that. Have you smiling from ear to ear? Nobody know why. Only you know why. A divine being can do that. 
had his glow on you just like mm -hmm. <laughs> like where that come from yeah yeah you got some of that the divine 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 energy on you <laughs> look at this card divine time is at play okay divine time is at play when it comes to this union okay this is somebody who was healing and, 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 and evolving i feel like you guys are definitely healed um, for a lot of you guys, I won't even say heal. I'm going to say healing. You guys are still healing from situations and you just evolving and just growing because healing is never ever done, you know? You make pain look good. For some of you guys, you look like nothing of what you've ever been through because you're always healing. You're always healing. You're always growing. You're always elevating. You're always evolving. Somebody with this divine timing is at play. Somebody just going along with the flow. Okay. Somebody surrendered to the divine. Confirmation. <laughs> Somebody surrendered to the divine. Somebody's taking care of themselves, loving on themselves, setting up boundaries. Mm. Okay. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Give me more. Thank you. I am letting go of old ways and leaving toxic people and situations behind. I want a better life for myself, a new beginning. Somebody ready to put you first. Somebody knows. Somebody is ready to put this love first. Somebody feels like they need you. They need you. They awaken into this, you know, this divine calling. That's why they feel like they're being divinely guided towards you. Somebody is going through a transformation, letting go of old people, places, and things any toxic of people, any situations that can hinder this connection, somebody is like, I'm freeing it. Somebody is awakening to this connection. This person wants a better life, not only for themselves, but for you guys. I'm hearing us. They want a better life for us, a new beginning. You have somebody believe in themselves when they was too weak to do it, to believe in them own, their own self. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Like a butterfly, I'm growing and changing and finding my true colors in life. I'm finding my wings so I can fly. Soon, I'll be on my way back to you. I told you. All these butterflies are Somebody is going through a transformation. This person is awakening to this connection. And so, see, this does not make this person a bad person because of what has transpired for you guys in the past. It does not. What's life without lessons? You know, you came into this person's life to awaken them. Now somebody wants to put you on top. They want to love you. They want to be a better, a better version of themselves. They want you to see them as reliable, dependable, you know, supportive. They want that. Someone that, you know, that could always be there when you call, when you text message them. They want to always be there. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you had to distance yourself from this person to make the heart go fonder. Like, you had to, Sunseeds. You had to distance yourself because the more that you stayed around them and, and kept um, hurt and able in them, um, you know, it just, it wasn't doing nothing for their growth. Somebody had to experience the transformation, but it had to be while you guys were apart. And this person could have experienced a lot of obstacles while you guys were apart because this person was fighting this connection. And it, I feel like it brought this person a lot of like despair, a lot of sadness. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody feel like you was like their best friend. Like anytime they needed to talk to someone, whether it was family, coworkers, friends, like, you just always knew the right things to say. Like, you always had the best advice. Not only did someone feel like, you know, they lost a lover, they felt like they lost their friend. You make this person think, like, this person could have been someone who never thought about marriage or, or settling down with just one person, um, generational wealth, building businesses, building empires, working together. This person could have felt like, you know, that was something that you only seen on TV or reading books. Like, it was some type of fairy tale that it wasn't real. Somebody could have been, you know, didn't believe in fairy tales until they met someone like you. Because I'm hearing, I was like, it's unreal, like, 
somebody shocked that something like this really exists. Hmm. I feel this huge, I feel this huge pull to you and I don't know why. I just don't understand what, yeah, this person didn't understand what this connection, what, what it really was. Mm. Wow. This person feels this pull. They feel like they know they're supposed to be with you. They awaken into the divine connection, but somebody was fighting it. It's giving me like somebody that was stuck between worlds. Like they know they feel this huge pull towards you, you know? And they don't know why. Then on the other hand, it's just like, I don't understand this connection. I don't understand it. It's so intense. I don't want to deal with it. I'm going to be stubborn. I'm going to fight it. Somebody could have been stuck between worlds, but somebody had to surrender. Yeah. Somebody was trying, thank you, Spirit. Somebody kept trying to fight something, kept, like kept trying to fight it, but the feelings was too strong. It could have took the toll of this person. It, it, could, it could show in this person's face, their body. Maybe they don't look the same. Yeah, somebody was trying to fight something that was um, that was meant to be. Because they were stuck between worlds. This could be somebody that was overly controlling, that wants to control things. Yeah, it says, I want to be with you, but I can't leave this karmic situation behind just yet. Definitely could have been a karmic situation. And that could have been... Maybe this person um, could have, um, you know, would have felt guilty about leaving the situation behind. Possibly, this person could have put you in a third-party situation, been married. For some of you guys, this person could have just been in a commitment with someone else who they share kids with, with a karmic. Okay. This person could have been worrying about finances. For some of you guys, this person... um. For the ones, um, you know your story, you know, this person could be very wealthy or just somebody who works a lot, somebody who's financially stable. And somebody could have felt like, you know, if they leave this connection, somebody was going to take them for everything, you know, in regards to when it comes to the children. Somebody feels like um, somebody was going to secretly behind the hand, you know, take from this this person because they're bitter because they somebody knows that this person is in love with you. They know that. If, there's any, if, the, if you was married to this person or if this person was married to someone else, somebody is fully aware of you. There ain't no secret. There ain't no secret here, okay? Somebody is trying to leave a situation to go towards the one that they truly love. But somebody could be secretly trying to sneak out of it because they know that somebody is money hungry. Or it could just be somebody that is currently now is in separation with someone who they're not on good terms with. They just want out of a connection, but they try to play it safe because somebody could be literally money hungry. Okay. Somebody wants you to be their main one, their main female, their main male. Somebody wants to go whatever this whatever this journey is, whatever this is in life, somebody wanna spend the rest of their life with you. They wanna just spend the rest of their life. I'm here with Olin Gray, the family. Somebody feels like you're on a level. This karmic could never. This person could have been scared about, you know, losing everything that they have worked for. Give me more. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I can't make it up. I wish we could just run away together to a place with all... I'm sorry. I wish we could just run away together to a place without all this drama. What did I say? It's like somebody, somebody know they see you as like they main, they main female, main male, main woman. You know, somebody just want to be your everything. Somebody just want to get away. Like let let's just move away. Let's go on this journey, this life together. Grow old and gray with. Let's even leave all the drama behind. Let's build our own life together. Let's start our own empire together. But because for some of you guys, you could have met this person while they was dealing with um in a, in a karmic situation. For others of you guys, um. This person could have left you for a karmic situation. Take out resonate. You know? For others of you guys, you could have possibly been married to this person and a karmic came between this connection. And now somebody wanted to make things right. But I feel like this could have been someone who already had kids with a person or within that separation, this person had kids with a karmic. And they felt like it's not, I don't, there's no love with this karmic. But whoever I'm picking up on 
might not want to hear this, but I got to be honest and obedient. When it comes to this person's children, they won't always put the first. They're going to always do the right thing. And I shouldn't even say somebody don't want to hear this. It just, that's a, a, a mature woman or a mature man. I can love you to death. And I and listen to me. Y'all know I'm transparent with you, sonsies. I can love you to death. It could hurt my heart. But I'm a mother first. And somebody feels like they are father first as well. Okay? Somebody will always choose their children first. You know? But what they need to understand is the way you love your child is the way you would never love your man. The way you love your child is the, is the way that you would never love your woman. Okay? It's two different type of loves. Somebody's a great parent and they want to do the right thing by their kids. But with this transformation, somebody is awakening to the fact that I deserve to be happy as well, too. I am deserving of love, too. I am deserving to be happy and live the rest of my days out with someone who completes me, who is my match. Just because I have children don't mean I have to spend the rest of my life in a karmic cycle, miserable, sad, just working. Just waking up and just seeing what the day going to bring. Not getting out my bed already. Calling orders, calling shots, telling the day how the day going to be already. See, that's the type of energy you bring, sun seeds. You wake up out your bed before your foot hook the ground. You thank God. And you already tell it. After you thank God, you set the tone for the day. There's somebody who wakes up out their bed feeling regretful, hurt because of what they've done to you. And just say, you know, whatever today going to bring, that's what today going to bring. Day by day. Because somebody is hurt. Somebody is somewhere they're not happy. And they want to run away with you and leave all the drama behind. Hmm. I don't know who this is going to resonate, but I, I felt the need to be transparent just a second. Because I feel this person's energy. And, and, this, and I feel your energy as well, Sunseeds. Somebody, that's why they said, you show me compassion that I couldn't show myself. And for that, I'm grateful. Yes, they will forever be grateful for you. Somebody in a, in a, in a karmic cycle, somebody don't even, ooh. Please. Anybody you come in, in, in contact with, you, you sit up. Ah, it's your light, baby. I'm just getting like a light. You awaken them. It's like a glow that they have when they're around you. One or two more, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. My family and friends do not approve of our relationship. They do not understand this connection. I know I will have to stand up for this love. This person knows that they're going to have to stand up for this love. Okay? And everybody in the 3D, everybody around them is going to witness it. But see, the thing is what this person don't know. These people in the 3D just waiting for this person to stand up for this love. They already know how it's affecting this person. They already, they already can see what this person is going through. They already know it. They just actually waiting for this person to stand up for this love in the 3D. They know it. This could be somebody who always depends on their family and their friends, value their opinions, put them before their love life. Something could um, be in regards to religious factors. Maybe this person likes doing the things the traditional way. Maybe this person doesn't like hurting people. You know, this could definitely be someone who definitely um, didn't have love for themselves. Self-love. Because if you out here just pleasing and pleasing and pleasing everybody around you, your heart shocker is blocked off. How can love flow through you naturally? How can love even come in when you don't even love yourself because you out here pleasing people all the damn time? That's your heart shocker is not awakening. Somebody know in order to have real love, true love, they're going to have to stand up for the same people, okay, that have been throwing jabs at this connection. Okay? I feel like you stopped chasing this person, you gave this person space, and with this space, it was the best thing. Somebody is seeing things clearly all around them. One more, Holy Spirit, one more, please and thank you. 
Who cares if they family and friends don't approve of this relationship? Hmm. No, that's what they want them to think. <laughs> that's what they want them to think because they know once this person commit to you, once you guys get in this divine connection and y'all lock, 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 then they already know what it's about to bring. Nothing but rainbows. <laughs> Nothing but rainbows all shattering down on you guys. They know. Somebody just don't want this person to believe in themselves because they see the potential and what this person could. Mm, you know what? Let me let me go. Let me go. I'm in pain right now and I miss you. Mm, mm, what did I say? Everybody around them know that they in pain. Everybody around them know that this person misses you. This person is not lying to nobody but themselves. Sunseeds. Everybody know that. This person is trying to heal from whatever they've gone through. For some of them, it's just, you know, the fact of feeling like they could have possibly have lost you because of a karmic cycle. I'm just heavily picking up one temperance, divine timing, divine intervention. You know, somebody has to be patient. Something is unfolding in divine timing. Give me more Holy Spirit. It just needed time. And I feel like that time apart, you help this person. <laughs> Obsession. Ooh, yeah. This person is obsessed with you. What you have done to this person without even knowing what you've done. You just was being your true self. Being organic. Being, you know, natural. Real. This person used to fake people. They used to fake people. They, they used to get in connections with people that want their money. They don't really care about them. They used to get in connection with people when they mess up and they do wrong and they hurt people, they buy them gifts. You know, they try to shatter them on material things so they don't got to deal with the root of the problem. They couldn't do that to you. They couldn't do that to you because you love yourself. And because you love yourself, you will always put yourself first. And that this person's obsessing over you because of what you did, they ain't never met nobody like this. Yeah. This person missed the times that you guys used to laugh together, play together, goof wolf together. Yeah, marriage and balance and intuition. Ooh, champ. This is going to be a marriage. If you guys are not already married to this person, there's something that's being balanced out in the spiritual realm. Okay, spirit is saying use your intuition. Okay. Use your intuition at this time. Sorry, Sunsteed. Spirit is saying use your intuition at this time. Um, somebody is getting what they asked for. I just heard that. Somebody is getting what they asked for. So if you ask for marriage, ask for this person back, you know, you're getting it. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you're getting it. You're getting it. Okay. Yeah, you guys was on two different pages. And the reason why you guys was on two different pages is because for some of you guys, this person gave up a, a commitment or married someone else. They did. Someone who they had children with. Okay. Um, this soulmate is in a lot of regret at this time. This person wants to come back around. They want you to trust them again. Trust that you guys can heal the situation. For a lot of you guys, you knew that this person was married and you just, oh, you know, you used your intuition. And for some of you guys, you felt like the only way to bring balance to the situation was to walk away and choose you and put yourself first. For some of you guys, you felt like this person played too many games. What's this marriage part? Can't make it up past the life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Somebody is about to get married to this person. Something is happening in divine timing. It's about to be balanced it out. <laughs> it will not stop the world for you. What's this balance? A lot of you guys could be just doing your thing. Yeah, I can't make it up. Balance is playing by with patience. Just have patience, baby. Everything is unfolding in divine timing. I can't make it up. What's this? Faith. 
This is a destined partnership. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for confirming everything I just said. And thank you, Holy Spirit. What did I say? Your self-care, your self-love putting you first to set the tone without even you saying nothing. Nothing at all. Trust. You trusted yourself. You trusted your intuition. Now somebody who's longing for you wants to apologize. Someone is secretly yearning for you. You can expect the apology you want to hear. You guys were just on two different pages at the time. Different pages and soulmates. And now somebody is in regret. For a lot of you guys, you already wake into this connection way early. Some of you guys already knew that this was your person. They just still had to do the shadow work. They still had regret and passion. Spiritual lesson, awakening, come through, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person had to, yeah. They learned the spiritual lesson. And now they're awakened. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. And I feel like by spirit moving you guys and letting things go down the way it did, it was just all orchestrated by the divine. Because if you would have stayed in this person's energy, sussies, they would have never changed. Somebody knows how compassionate and nurturing and loving and, and supportive you are. They had to do this without you. They did, Sunseeds. Okay. Let's pull something from the tarot. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Give me more. Hangman. The devil, the, the, the devil to the uh, world card. Yeah, somebody is enlightened. Somebody is seeing that in order to have this connection, they must let go of toxic people. Friends, family, comics, relationships, whatever. They must close that cycle out in order to have this with you. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Cups. This don't even go on this day. Eight of Cups to the Emperor. Look, whoever your Emperor is, they are walking away. Okay? They are walking away from these people, leaving them behind. Okay, what's this? Emperor, the world. You know what? I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you all. Come through, Holy Spirit. Emperor, the world, the empress, the real wands. Something is happening at a distance. Spirit is saying be patient, okay? Skills are being balanced out. You guys are about to get justice, okay? Yes, you guys are about to get justice. Somebody else going to be hurt. Somebody whoever they share children with or... Um, if this is somebody who doesn't share children with some with this person, it's just that somebody knows that whoever they was married to or the commitment with take out resume, whoever this karmic was, they can't play on this person's innocence no more. They know that this person is sweet. They know that this person, you know, they can't play on this person's innocence no more. Empress, Emperor, the world. With the three of wands, something is happening at a distance. Just be patient. The world here is again in the star card. Both of you guys could be star seeds, but something is about a, a situation is being healed. High priestess. I feel like you guys are this high priestess. You guys use your intuition. Somebody's just like, you know, Mystic Sunflower, I just, you know, I just remove myself, you know, and, and let the divine, you know, do, do, do his thing, you know? Because I'm not in control of nothing. Justice. <laughs> you about to get this comic justice, huh, see? Y'all about to have a whole new passionate beginning. Three of Cups. Y'all about to be celebrating. Y'all going on this journey together. Y'all are. Somebody wanted to have somebody in their head feeling trapped, feel like something was impossible, okay? They didn't want somebody to love on themselves. Whoever this karmic is, damn. Sick of them. Give me more Holy Spirit. I cannot it up. Yeah, I'm over here like, I love when my spirit guys just confirm my, with, you know what I'm saying, what, I, what you know what, what, I'm, what I'm feeling. But dang, <laughs> temperance, divine timing, 
Okay, patience. Everything is being orchestrated. Everything is happening. The fool card. Six of cups. Yeah, somebody leaving their past behind for a brand new beginning. Mm -hmm. King of wands. Somebody is taking action. Showing up as the leader that they are. Justice. Ooh, child. Okay, back out. Somebody want to balance the scales out. Karmic justice is being played out because there was definitely an injustice done in the past. You know, you ain't deserved that. Mm -mm. The death card. Big change. I'm getting big happy change. Transformation for beautiful new beginnings. Death and rebirth. Page of swords. Somebody is studying and watching and seeing things. But I feel like what... But see, that's the thing. What did I say earlier? See, this person don't know that. These people already know. They already know that the change that this person has gone through because of you. The death card is clarified with the page of swords. It could be a bunch of people that's watching, gathering information, gossiping about this person, talking about how this person is changing. Oh, oh yeah, we know why this person is walking away. We know why this person is doing this. Oh yeah, yeah, because they're going towards that divine feminine or that divine um emperor. Mm -hmm. See, they're talking. They've been talking. And see what they... Five of swords on the bottom. I can't make it up. The, the hate been there. But see, what this person needs to know and what you need to know, ain't nobody got time to worry about the hate. Because when you when you out here building an empire, and, 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 um, and you have... I'm sorry. You have, when you have the potential to build an empire with someone and remarkable and great things going to happen, you better know you're going to be talked about. And please, please... Listen, Linda, 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 listen. It ain't going to always be good things, okay? They're going to talk. The ugly, the lies, everything. And they're actually going to lawyer one day and hate you tomorrow. It comes with the territory. But who gives a hell? <laughs> when you out here serving God, that sits high and look slow and see everything. Only thing that you need to be out here doing is keep going. <laughs> the hate gonna be there. Cause they know this person is planning something. <laughs> Escape with the sun to the fool. They already know it. They already know it. Mm, 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 mm. Look at this. Seven of Wands over here. Guard it, protect it. Confirmation. Give me more of the spirit. Have a card, another card on the death. Please and thank you. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The death was almost the chariot wanted to come out. Somebody move forward. Mm -hmm. Give me more of the spirit. Thank you. Five of Pentacles. Whatever this change is going to bring is going to leave a lot of people out in the cold. But it's necessary. These toxic people can't go. Everybody can't, they can't go. You're out here building an empire. You know you damn well you can't bring no toxic people with you. Five of Swords. I can't make it up. Whatever this change is, Six of Cups. Okay? The past can't go. The past can't go. Because they was haters. They was jealous. They was envious. They can't go. You're about to get justice. Can I have a card on the Justice Holy Spirit? Claim out the Justice for me, please, and thank you. <laughs> Somebody want who they love. They want who they love. The person who, who brought compassion in their life, who was understanding. What's this card? Eight of Swords. Mm. Somebody is stuck on you. What's the Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit? What's the Eight of Swords? I'm hearing this person when they when they when they come back. I'm hearing this person don't want you to kill a Bob. <laughs> like somebody somebody is planning something. They planning something. They hope you don't kill it. What's the eight of swords? Eight of swords. Ooh, thank you. Oh no. Oh to the no. Let me get this card. Oh to the no. To the no. To the no. The eight of swords is clear five with the king of cups. I ain't playing with y'all. I ain't playing with y'all. <laughs> Ooh, chair. 
Somebody could have felt trapped with a baby mother or a baby father because of children. That could have been a possibly the reason why they even married this person. But somebody, somebody is all in their head about, for others of you guys with the King Cups, the Queen of Cups, with the Eight of Swords, somebody is all in their head about they love. And this could be both for you guys. Take it out and resonate. You know? Queen of Cups to the King Cups to the Eight of Swords. Somebody is all in their head about their true love. They just, they want it. They want this. They plan it on moving towards you to go on this journey with you in life. You guys are about to get a new passion and beginning. I'm telling you. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Give me more. What's the world called up top, Holy Spirit? What's the world? <laughs> Spirit said, close it out and I'll give you a brand new beginning. I promise you. Listen to your intuition. Follow your heart. Do the right thing. Damn. Talk to him, Spirit. Talk to him. Talk to him. Block out the devil's six of pentacles. Block out. Block out these greedy, money hungry. Only want what you can give to them. Block them out. See them for who they are. Block them, block them. I'm hearing just block them, block them. Put your guards up. Set boundaries. No longer giving to them anymore. They done. No more giving to it. Focus on no, no. Mm, okay, Holy Spirit. Something is causing a major change. Six of Wands. That's a yes for me. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. The judgment. That's the final. That's the final decision. Mm, that's final. Ooh, what's the judgment, Holy Spirit? That's fine. Somebody going to get a victory. They going to get that. Queen of Swords, that's the damn truth. <laughs> Somebody is not playing. Whoever they got to cut out, let loose, they don't give a hell. Because whoever, this, whoever you are, somebody knows their divine purpose. And they know that they're supposed to be on this connection with someone. Okay? Somebody made a final judgment when it comes to whoever this queen of swords is. They're done. They don't want it no more. It's like it's over. Yeah, four pinnacles. This person can still be trying to hold on to somebody, okay, that wants a new beginning. But somebody like, I'm out. Yeah, three of swords. They're going to be hurt. This person is out. Something came to rest. The judgment. Somebody like, I'm done. Give me another card of the queen of swords. Somebody like, I'm done. There's nothing more to this. Yeah. Queen of Swords plays out with the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. This person could be mad as hell. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups just popped out of my lap. Somebody could be mad as hell. You know, oh, angry, communicating with this person. Like, somebody wants somebody to be buried and tied down with them. Somebody like, no, for what? But what they don't see is that this person is out. Give me another card. Ten of Wands. What they don't see that this person is dropping. This somebody like, no, I'm out. Yeah, I, I told you what they don't see. Come through, Holy Spirit, what they don't see. High Priestess. Somebody is like, I'm out. I'm listening to my intuition. Ten of Swords. Something is over. Somebody also could be feeling, you know, backstabbed and betrayed because this person is going towards the happiness, the one that they truly love. They could be telling this person, oh, you leaving your kids behind? You leaving us behind? Look at this shit. Ace of Swords, Spirit said, that's the damn truth. Oh, you leaving your kids behind? You leaving us behind? Blah, 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 blah. Spirit said, look, Knight of Cups under the bottom. I ain't playing with y'all, so I see. Knight of Cups to the King of Swords. I told you. Y'all gotta see me over here. They ain't on good terms with this person. They going back and forth about the breakup, the, bet the betrayal. Somebody feels betrayed. Somebody feels like, oh my God, it's a lie. You hear this King of Swords giving a Knight of Cups? They go on, they, they about their business. They swore, especially that's the damn truth. Okay? Somebody know what's up. They know what's up. Mm -hmm. The Magician to the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, manifesting. Can't make it up. Super close. What did I say? This person only got eyes for you. And they not about to play with nobody. Hi, friend. Somebody wants a marriage. A Nine of Swords. Somebody else is in their head about somebody being single and moving on with their life. 
and going towards their true love. The Wheel of Fortune was clarified with the Three of Cups. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Any more messages, Holy Spirit? Any more messages before I close this out? Please and thank you. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. For some of you guys, this person is going to reach out to you and communicate to you um, and letting you know that this is what they want. And they say, I mean everything I say. Everything I say. Ooh, yeah. Somebody else heard about it. I can't make it up. And it fell out Ace of Swords. I love you. That's the truth. Somebody's going to reach out and communicate, letting you know that this shit is over with. We're done. I, I made my final decision. I don't want to deal with this person no more. I'm leaving my past behind. It says, I meant what I said, and I love you. Wow. Look under the bottle. Forgive me. Somebody feels like you deserve a better version of themselves than what they gave you before. You make me better. Wow. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Okay, what's this? What's this? What's this? Let's make plans. I'm in making plans. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I've been making plans. What's that song? That used to be my shit. Like, what was that? I've been making plans. Yeah, look, correct the deck or you make me smile. I forgot the name of that song. Dang, fun feeds. But this person is making plans. I'm telling you, they out. They out. They know. They block it. Any. With the devil to so the six of pentacles, the seven ones, any money that they was given, anything that they was given before, they like, no, I'm done. I'm mean, able somebody say, take me to court. Take me to court. I am done. I'm not giving no more to the situation. I'm done. Period. Whew. That's that was a reading for you. <laughs> that was a reading for you. That was, oof, jam. <laughs> 